Hello everyone and welcome to my first well, Fallout New Vegas mod review since well forever really. Uh, the last time I made a mod review was mostly in line with about the time I released the, the term. Uh, a few things have been going on since about that time. Uh, one I had to like respond to feedback from the comments in that mod. Uh, I had to fix pa make patches for it, fix a number of issues. Of course, all the things that come in line with making a, a quest mod. Uh, also, had to watch a few reviews, see what people thought of it, and most of it was positive. Most of the most of the feedback was positive, inspiring me to make an hour mod. I'm making what is it, the Crimson Dragons or something? I'm, that's what I'm making. It's called the Crimson Dragons. You join a mercenary company, blah blah blah. blah. I will tell you more about that when the time comes. But now, I'm going to review this this gun. It's called the A12. It's made by. Uh, serial self killer, and uh, immediately I'm impressed because it's a custom logo. We probably spent a lot of time to making that, and it looks really impressive. I've, I've got to hand it to him; it looks really good. Fits in with the rest of these. Like, look, for example, you've got an AN94 here that looks like an AK basically, and you've got an A12. Looks absolutely perfect. No issue with it at all. Looks great. So yeah, let's have a look at this gun, shall we? So immediately. I can tell the model looks absolutely perfect, fits in the hands perfectly, no no clipping issues or anything, looks exactly like the gun it's supposed to be, looks, looks great. Let's hear if there's any custom sounds. Indeed there is any sound great. Absolutely perfect volume, not too loud, not too quiet, it's it's absolutely great, it's not deafening. So good, good sound balance here, nothing deafening. So yeah, well done. Now on to the textures. The textures are not too great in my opinion. They look kind of monotonous and cartoonish if I may say so. It doesn't fit in with the art style of the rest of Fallout which is realistic, grimy and dirty. It looks kind of clean, cartoonish and if I may say so, it looks as if it make, it's made out of rubber. <laughs> so textures are nothing great. I'd give them a 4 out of 10 in this regular version. Look at the white bits just look horrible. It looks like foam. For fuck's sake, it's, it's not too great the textures, but the model and the custom sounds more than make up for it. So let's have a look at the gun with the extended mags, that is the attachment. It has 12 extra bullets to your magazine, there you go, and there you go. Adds a drum magazine onto the, the model, and it looks absolutely great, it looks like the gun from the Expendables. And also, what's that, what's that other film it's in? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> it's in a lot of films, I'll give it that, right? So yeah, once once again the model looks absolutely perfect. Textures still not anything great. <laughs> I doubt that was gonna change the fucking textures. So yeah, let's have a look at the unique version. This is called the Alley Cleaner. Once again, model looks exactly the same, but it's a different texture. It has a, a desert camouflage, and I've got to be honest, I really like how this gun's rocking. That it looks absolutely great. It fits in with the game. The, de the desert camouflage added on makes it look less monotonous and looks as if it has a wee, wee bit of tone and, and a wee bit of change within the gun. It doesn't look bland. It looks, it looks good. It looks passable. Once again, model I'll give a 10 out of 10 and this texture I'll give a 7 out of 10 whilst the vanilla A12 I'll give that texture a 4 out of 10. Nothing great. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is test the gun balance. Having a look at the stats, it doesn't it looks a bit overpowered, a bit, <laughs> a bit being an understatement. DPS of 581, Jesus Christ, for <laughs> damage 15.9 times 7, oh man. So a value of oh, 11,000 gaps, oh god. Strength requirement of 4, a gun skill requirement of 75. So I can immediately tell it's going to be OP as shit. So the way to balance that, I would say, is kind of bring the stats down to something more along the lines of the riot shotgun. Have a damage about 12.3 times 7 and still maintain the fully automatic to have like the real life consistency. Still keep that. Uh, strength requirement, I'd probably put that up to about 6 or 7. Just to balance it out. And a gun skill requirement of 100. Because the extra DPS you'll be dealing out since it's fully automatic and you've got 20, bullet, 20 shells in the clip. The magazine, if you want to be all anal about that. It's a fucking. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I, I, I would since you've got twenty bullets in the magazine, uh, you, you're going to be dealing a lot more DPS since it's fully automatic. So I would, of course, as I said, put the gun skill requirement up to hundred, strength requirement up to seven, 
and bring the damage down 12.3 times. That would be the perfect gun gun balance in my opinion. I would appreciate a few comments to let me know what you think would be the best best way to balance it because I want to help this guy and improve the mod. And that's what these mods are here for. These videos are here for. They're not to, they're not to shit in mods, say they're bad, not to say how good they are or anything. Just to offer cr constructive criticism and not be mean about it. Be a nice guy about it. Offer them something to help, to, to inspire them to continue their work. Not say, oh your mod's shit, oh fuck off, this is terrible, you should never make a mod again. I'm getting a service for free, I'm entitled to something. It's, it's not about that. That's the way some people act, I'm afraid. But yeah, let's test the gun balance out and I'll show you what I mean with the overpowered stats. I failed there, TMM1. Uh, so let's go to Vault 3 and test this against Fiends and you can see what I mean. Uh, here we go. Wow. Oh man. See what I mean? One shotgun shell. Killed that guy. Free this, I get this guy. Missed two there, but I hit him with one, taking half his health down. Now this guy will take a few more bullets since I haven't got shotgun surgeon. But he's still dying well quickly. As you can see, it's really overpowered. Even the riot shotgun doesn't do this. This is one of the most powerful guns I've seen on any mod. I'm not even going to lie, it's a bit broken. Look at that, fuck's sake. Half a second and two of Fiend's dead. So, aye. There you have it. One of the most overpowered mods I've seen. So, my constructive criticism would be... I'll just remove the vanilla AA12 and just have this because the texture's actually passable. Looks, looks really good. It's definitely above adequate. The the camouflage one. The other one's a bit. It looks a bit bad. It looks a bit bad if I'm going to be honest. So yeah, gun balance needs to be fixed. Textures. I would just leave them the way they are, but remove the normal AA12 and definitely fix the gun balance. <laughs> the gun balance is a fucking. It's pretty gash, a gun balance. It needs fixed. So, yeah. Just take my advice, or take any of the guys' advice and comments and try and think of what you think would be the best mod offer. Uh, overall, it's up to you since you made it. Uh, I'm not going to force you to do anything. I can't force you to do anything. Nor would I want to. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This has been the A12. It will be getting my endorsement since I'm heavily impressed with custom sounds and the custom meshes. Both of those are absolutely great. Whilst the gun balance and the textures didn't really do it for me, but it's still getting my endorsement. So yeah, I hope you guys download the mod and endorse it, because this guy deserves encouragement to continue making mods. Uh, I think he's got the potential to do really well, and I'm glad there's someone making mods in what seems to be a downtime for the new Vegas Nexus. It seems as if it's dying a little. I, I respect people trying to inject the life back into it, so yeah. This has been Grey Fox, reviewing the A12 by... Cell, what is it? Suit. Serial self killer. So, yeah. Go, go download this mod and endorse it. And I will do the same. I'll catch you guys in the future. This has been Grey Fox. So, see ya.